This conference will now be recorded. Hi friends, welcome to Ratan ID. My name is Ratan. Guys, we are discussing course of assignments. And this, this video, it will go for the for loop assignment. Eh? <clears throat> yeah, sum of 1 to 10 numbers. Like you need to print just uh, like, you know, sum of 1 to 10 numbers. And sum of 1 to 10 even numbers. Sum of 1 to 10 odd numbers. But here, complete the below three operations using three for loops. It means uh, sum of 1 to 10 numbers, one for loop you have to use. Sum of 1 to 10 even numbers, one for loop. Sum of 1 to 10 odd numbers, we have to use another for loop. So first case, first case, you need to take the three for loops. Second case, sum of 1 to 10 numbers, 1 to 10 even numbers, sum of 1 to 10 odd numbers, all three we need to complete this using a single for loop. You got the point, right? Here are the three for loop. First for loop, second for loop, sum of 10, 1 to 10 numbers, one for loop, even numbers, one for loop, odd numbers, one for loop. But here for the three, we need to use single for loop, right? Exactly. Because let me do practicals using edit plus you know in edit plus to write the code class test we can take the main method right public static void main because here i want to take the first one is a sum of one to ten numbers okay for this one let me write one for loop sum of one to ten numbers uh this for example to 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 store the sum variable okay so total sum right total sum equal to zero initially you can take this total sum equal to what is zero right exactly <clears throat> Just take the for loop for int i equal to 1, 1 to 10 numbers, right? i less than or equal to 10. The starting value is 1. 1 to how many numbers? So 10 numbers. i less than or equal to 10. Then how much value you have to increment? 1 value, right? i plus plus. At the point, right? Then we need to take the total sum equal to, because total, okay, to, <clears throat> total sum equal to, total sum equal to what? Uh, total sum plus. Hmm. Total sum plus i value. Because initially total sum is how much? 0. 0 plus i value is how much? 1. 0 plus 1 is what? 1. So the total sum is becomes 1, right? Because total sum becomes what? 1, right? Initially 1. The loop is repeated. Then total sum is 1. 1 plus i value is what? Second iteration 2, right? Uh, 2 plus 1 is what? 3. Like that. Because like that, the loop will be repeated every like you know the total sum will be stored in the total sum variable right because total sum variable or not exactly it's completed task the system dot out dot printer enough uh, so <clears throat> so one to ten numbers sum of one to ten numbers tell me sum of one to ten numbers so plus uh, just you can make this is total sum right exactly because that's it guys completed task very small local disk d the file is called test.java i'm saving this code in local disk d the file is test.java file because you got the point right open the command prompt local disk d yeah how to compile guys java c hmm. java c the file name is what uh, test.java this code is compiled fine so what the class name we have to execute tell me Test class. So you guys, sum of 1 to 10 numbers is what? 55. But some students will write the code, this code inside the loop actually. If you write inside the loop, then what happens, guys? When the loop is repeated, sum is printing like first case is 1, second case is 3, third case is 6, 10, 15, 21. It's printing like every iteration. Then you tell me, you want to print like every iteration, or just you want to print at last value. You want to print only one well, right? That's what you can take the uh, submit last, right? Exactly. Because yes, that's no. Is it difficult there? Yeah? Definitely easy, but with patience required. That's it. Okay, guys, can you please at least write the sum of one to ten even numbers at least? Hmm? To print the sum of one to ten even numbers, int uh, just you can take the even sum. Even sum equal to zero. Take the meaningful variable names here. You don't take like x, y, z like that. You just to take the meaningful variable name. Int event sum equal to 0. Okay, event sum equal to 0. For loop, as usual, int i equal to 1. 1 to 10 numbers. No, sir, I want uh, 10 to 20. 10 to 20 means what? Starting value is 10. I less than equal to 20. 10 to 20 means. But 1 to 10, fine. Just let me take the i plus. 
i less or equal to 10 right then you can take the i plus plus at the point i i equal 1 i less or equal to 10 i plus plus right yeah as usual you can write the uh, even sum equal to even sum plus what not even sum even sum means what we need to check the condition right because even sum means what i percentile to double equal to zero then only you can calculate the even sum equal to even sum plus i because if i percentile to double equal zero then only that number is which value guys even value right guys i percentile to double equal zero then only that value is even value then only they can count that value you can count that value right exactly because that is the sum of 1 to 10 even numbers next one is what uh, sum of okay, we got you want print the data no sorry let me print the data this is turn dot out dot printer enough so here you can write so even number right sum of 1 to 10 even numbers okay this is like sum of 1 to 10 even numbers uh, plus what just you can print the even sum Guys, just you can check how the variable names are taken. Total sum, event sum, like that we have to take the variable names. Look at the point, right? CLS, how to compile it? Code is compiled fine. So the class is called test class. See, 1 to 10 number sum is 55. 1 to 10 even number sum is 30. I don't know, you just you can calculate even sum how much. Is you got the point, right? yeah this next one is what sum of 1 to 10 even numbers odd numbers tell me sum of 1 to 10 even numbers odd numbers sir. 1 to 10 what odd numbers right how to take the 1 to 10 odd numbers tell me int you can take the odd sum odd sum equal to for tell me for int i equal to mm, i equal to 1 so i less than or equal to what i less than or equal to 10 then you can take the i plus plus again we need to check the condition because you want only even sum right to check the condition if uh, tell me guys to check the even condition sorry odd condition if i percentile to 2 not equal to 0 it's not equal to 0 if it equal to 0 is an even number i percentile to the number divisible by 2 uh, equal to uh, remainder is 0 then it's an even number not equal to 0 that is called odd number then if it is odd number then initially odd number equals zero then you can take the odd sum right odd sum equal to odd sum plus i value then last we can print that uh, uh, sum of tell me so sum of one to ten odd numbers sum of one to ten odd numbers then you can take simply like odd sum right guys okay, that's it guys enough this is like sum of 1 to 10 numbers, sum of 1 to 10 even numbers, sum of 1 to 10 odd numbers. If you clear, right? Simply can run this code, code is compiled fine, code executed fine. Because 1 to 10 numbers 50, even numbers 30, odd numbers 25. Because odd numbers is what? 25. You got the point, right? Yes. Yes, here we used how many for loops total three for loops hmm? that is the case one the case one right i use how many for loops three for loops right sorry clear right okay so everyone follow the all the assignments and please like the video comment the video subscribe to my channel to get the more videos this videos to your friends so that they'll write some assignments and they'll get some knowledge right yes, definitely this one is important not important important once if you know these kind of requirements it will be good right and even every video first you need to check the requirement you need to pause the video see the requirement and try to write the requirement after that we need to start the video that's the basic uh, plan actually are you clear right that's it yes case two same even number odd number total sum using single for loop A single for loop only easy Total sum, event sum, and one more variable is like odd sum. Three sums you can take. First of all, 0, 0, 0. Then, i value starts from 1. Total equal to total plus i. No condition check. Plus. And second one is what? 
1 to 10 even numbers on can I copy just this one here that's it this will do the total sum directly first one this will be calculated only if it is even number only if it is a even number okay this is the first SOP second SOP and let me go for the odd sum odd sum means what just you can calculate one more if condition that's it so you got the clarity that this one executed for every number 1 to 10 numbers if total sum equal to total sum plus i this will be executed for every number this will be executed for every number this code will be executed for only even numbers this code will be executed only for the odd numbers only for odd numbers right exactly you got the clarity now so this is like three SOP statements at last guys i think this is perfect how many for loops are used here single for loop printing everything right but if you want to reduce the code see this code will work it's no not a problem let me run this code first of all observe carefully okay can you please compile this this is a single for loop right if you want separate statement you can write the single for loop uh, the system dot out dot window enough uh, something like you know single for loop code single for loop code just let me write some message we get the clarity that okay this is a new example like right? single for loop code printing 55 30 25 so can please reduce the length of the code just can you please make it as a this is a case too guys case 2 is clearer huh? you understood the case 2 right check it guys if you are new to java you try to write this kind of examples one by one slowly analyze the same example multiple times four times five times six times initially definitely a bit, uh, bit difficult uh, but uh, when you see the same code like multiple times when you start writing the requirement multiple times definitely you'll get the clarity right yes total sum equal to total sum plus i this one right the second requirement just let me write the case 3 so what is a case 3 reduce the length of the code let's reduce the reduce the if i directly write this code you are unable to understand yeah reduce the length of the what code the first one is the three for loops case 2 is the single for loop case 3 is the reduce length of the code so how it will be guys you can all three are integer variables here you can make it a single line okay, into total sum even sum art sum number one number one here total you can write the total sum equal to total sum plus i right you can write the plus equal to nothing but what total equal total plus i right total sum equal to total plus equal to i right even numbers if you write the single if if contains how many statements here even total plus equal to you can write this also plus equal to uh, this is also you can write the odd sum plus equal to right that's one small point and moreover if contains yes. as if contains only one statement braces required not required not required See, these three variables you can make it as a single for loop, uh, single line three variables in the single line and for loop is there you can write the code like this single for loop code uh, length reduced as then is what reduce right yes code is compiled fine so code executed fine see guys single for loop code length is what reduced or not len gth as single for loop code length is what reduced right uh, that is information guys single for loop code length is reduced are you clear now yes guess what how many cases three cases as you please write all the three cases you'll get the more clarity about the example okay single for loop first you can do the small small request first, first for loop total sum equals zero like this even sum equals zero like this only if the condition is matched then only can print the sum third case is what uh, odd sum only this condition is matched odd sum will be calculated right 
sum of 1 to 10 numbers. Three variables I taken. First, it will calculate like you know this one no problem, and only if the condition is matched, even sum increased. Only this condition is matched, or sum is increased. The diesel length of the code means like this one. You can declare the three variables in the single line, and the total sum and the braces are not required because hmm. tell me if because you know uh, if you take the braces. Only one statement means braces are not required. That's what here we're taking only one statement, right? Braces are not required. I think you enjoyed the assignment, right? Yeah. Guys, okay, so up to this one for you, it is important. It last uh, one minute for me, important. What the point? Uh, like the video, comment the video, subscribe to my channel to get the more updates, right? Yes. I'm uploading all the videos in YouTube. Eh? Just you can go to the video. Yeah. Bye, guys. Next to the limit.